Today we're demonstrating this electric corner drum lifter. This is an electric hydraulic unit powered by onboard batteries. The electric lift makes it great for applications where you're handling lots of drums per day. We're going to show you the unloading of this pallet of drums. So first of all, we're going to come around and take the red steel drum. As you can tell from the name, this unit is designed to lift from the corner of the pallet. So we line up our gripper, got our lift and lower buttons. We're going to lower the drum gripper onto the lid of the drum. I can see through the window it's connected. And then we can lift. Once we've lifted, pull the unit away. We can place the drum down. Once the weight's off our gripper, we take our hands off the buttons, lift the top hook and disconnect. We'll show you a close-up of that on the next drum. Again, approaching the corner. Need to lift up to height to get our gripper back above the top of the drum. The best methods to have the gripper above the drum, bring the unit towards it and then lower it down. I can see we're connected, pressing our lift. Bring the unit away. These drums are full of water, so about 200 kilo per drum. Pressing our down button. Once the weight's off the gripper, lifting the catch clear. We'll come and get this L-ring drum, which is the uh, one of the plastic drums. Approaching on the corner, lifting our gripper up. For the plastic drums, our support foot at the bottom or kick plate, we can fold this into the up position. That prevents us denting or indenting the bottom of a drum. We always have it folded down for our steel 205 litre drums. Once we're ready, move the unit forward and lower down the gripper. Once it's engaged, we're going to double check. I'm happy with that. Press the lift. Move the unit away from the pallet. Lower down. Once the weight's off the gripper, you can adjust it, lift it clear. We'll now make some adjustments to the catch to handle this Mauser drum. Our drum gripper is fully adjustable to handle steel, plastic and fiberboard drums. The catch itself can move down or up depending on the height of drum we need to handle. I'll show you that now. So to move it lower, we remove this pin, simply removing it, unhook the catch, and then we can slide it down and hook it in at a different level. All these different positions on the rack are 50 millimetres apart, so we have lots of adjustability depending on the drums we need to handle. For the Mauser drum behind us that we're going to lift now, we need to be higher up on the rack. So I'm going to lift it up and then we're going to take our locking pin and refit it. And that prevents the catch from being removed. The next adjustment we're going to make is to the top hook, which is this part here. So we have our top hook and our bottom hook or bottom toggle. To adjust the top hook, I hold it with one hand. I remove a second pin, which is at the back of the hook and the whole top hook and pin come away. We then have a series of different holes and we can put this in a different hole to move it further forward. So this top hook is now further forward, ready to handle the drum. In the instruction manual, there's detailed guides on the different settings we recommend for different drum types. The final thing to show you is our kick plate or support foot at the bottom. 
When we're handling metal drums, we want to fold this out. It will keep the drum more vertical. When we're handling soft plastic drums, we want to fold it up out of the way. Same applies to fiberboard drums. So we move forward, bring our catch above the drum and lower down. See our top hook is engaged and now our bottom hook as well. Press lift. Bring the unit away. We'll bring this out in front of the pallet. Then lower down. Particularly with these Mauser drums where we've got a very large lid, we only want to lower it down just enough that the weight comes off the catch. As soon as the weight is off the catch, we can lift the top hook clear. If we over lower it and we lower it too far, we may just need to make a slight adjustment using our lift and lower buttons. Lift our top hook clear and we're ready to get the next batch of drums. We're now looking at the control panel of this model. Here we have our isolation switch. We turn it clockwise to turn the machine on. When it's on, our battery gauge will illuminate, showing the state of charge of the batteries from empty all the way up to full. When the machine's powered up, our lift and lower buttons will work. So we press lift or we can press lower. When we've finished using the machine, it's important to turn off the machine to conserve battery life. The charging point is on the side of the unit to plug in our charger when needed.